What is up, IBCers? My name is Dakota, and today I'll be sharing my interview about Linda Bove. Linda Bove is a famous deaf celebrity who was born on November 30th, 1945 in Garfield, New, New Jersey. Both her parents are deaf. As, as a major, major career, she majored in a, a library science school at Gallaudan University and received her, her first bachelor's degree in 1968. She is well known for acting and profession and perform in the National Theater of the Deaf. After it was formed in 1967. She then married Ed Water Street, who is this just as who is deaf, just like herself in 1970. Her famous active career is the Sesame Street in 1971 as the character of Linda the Librarian. She has brought sign language and deaf community issues into many, many li living rooms across the country. Her role on Sesame Street continued until 2003 now the, the longest running role on television for a deaf person in history. Bove was also known for bringing the American Sign Language into the world through her Sesame Street books as well. One of the Sesame Street Sign Language was ABC with Linda Bove that taught how to, to sign words and letters to children. Linda Bove was the deaf was Linda Bove was the best deaf person. She encouraged a lot of kids to learn and and interact with them through sign language. And she even got the kids to to be inspired to practice sign language and and be successful in sign language, especially to the ones who are deaf. She also performed on the soap opera, which is also known as the Search for Tomorrow, as Melissa Haley, well, well done, in 1973, and Happy Days as Fonzie's girlfriend in 1980. She also performed in the Broadway play Children of a Lesser God as an understudy for the leading role. Not too long ago, she has been involved with the Non-Traditional Casting Project, which is a nonprofit organization that helps people of different, of different culture and others with disabilities to get into television performance and film industry and other comedy entertainment. In 1991, Bove and her husband founded Deaf West Theater, a theater for the deaf in Los Angeles. Linda is the best deaf person inspiration for all actors and actresses. Despite being in an industry run primarily by hearing people, Bove stayed deaf and retained her culture and her values. She always signed and successfully introduced the deaf and, and her culture to the families across the country. As, as this person said, this, per, this person commented on that Linda Bove is the best person in the deaf history. 
She frequently came into my living room via Sesame Street. She was kind and friendly and always ready to teach children new signs. To me, she's, she seemed like an old friend. In other words, she seemed like a very valuable friend that can inspire everyone in the whole wide world. One of the episodes of Sesame Street involved Big Bird, who celebrated her birthday in the late 1970s. However, one of them was not appropriate because of her hearing disabilities, which was a stereo. Although Linda was, was not offended by the gift, she turned on the stereo and started dancing to the beat because she took advantages of at least four of her remaining four senses out of her five. She took advantage of touch, vibration, and she took advantage of touch, vibration, and other, and other a access to any like vibrations that could give access to some hearing in general. In fact, even someone explained that Linda could feel the vibrations made by the music. Thank you.